Sinkholes are scary enough, but big ones? Ay caramba, you want to get away from that thing ASAP. These are some of the biggest, the ones that could absolutely swallow up your home. These are the largest sinkholes caught on camera. Number 15. Sinkhole slash duckbill spillway, Salalum Dam. While most people typically won't make a day trip out of seeing a sinkhole, this particular hole in the Salalum Dam is worth a visit. So if you're traveling around South Goa, this attraction should be at the top of your list. The dam sits on the Salalum River, which is a tributary of the Zari River near Sanguem Town. The entire South Goa gets its supply of drinking water from it. While a body of water isn't the most exciting thing to look at, this one is. It spreads over nine square miles and has a half circle outlet that looks like a giant sinkhole. Water cascades 50 feet down the first level, then another 100 feet into a deep, dark chasm. Then, over the top of the riverbed, there's a beautiful blanket of mist over the entire dam. The design of this spillway that looks like a sinkhole is entirely unique and even kinda looks like a duckbill. The best time to visit the Salalum Dam is during the monsoon season and from July to November. It's open to the public every day from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Schmalkalden, Germany. In 2010, the central German town of Schmalkalden got quite the shock when they woke up to a giant sinkhole in their neighborhood. The hole was that large that it cut off road access, swallowed a parked car, and took a garage door with it. It started appearing at around 3 a.m. and quickly grew to 98 feet across and 65 feet deep. About 25 people were evacuated, but fortunately, no one was injured. Experts believe the cause of the sinkhole was entirely natural, but that doesn't make it any less concerning for those who live in the area. They think that underground erosion of soluble sedimentary rocks or salt beds could be the culprit. When groundwater flows over these rocks, they create caverns that can, over time, collapse. The sinkhole didn't impact the town of 20,000 too much, and officials had planned to fill it in with gravel to make sure that part of the town looked as good as new. But still, it would have been quite terrifying to see your garage teetering on the edge of a large hole or your car being sucked into the bottom of it. Number 13. They set a Texas sinkhole. In 2008, Deloac Disposal Services co-workers noticed a crack in a dirt road off FM 770, a route that leads to their business. Within hours, that crack had grown in size until it had become a giant sinkhole. In front of their eyes, the residents of Deseto watched as the sinkhole swallowed a truck, utility poles, pipe racks, and saltwater storage tanks. But it didn't stop there. It took just hours for it to grow to the length of nearly two football fields, 600 feet from north to south, then around 525 feet from the east to west. It also sunk to a depth of between 90 and 150 feet. The nearby FM 770 highway surface fell by around five inches and sat just 80 feet away from the edges of the sinkhole. It was a terrifying time for the Texas community who were concerned it would eventually eventually grow to swallow their homes and businesses. It was big news. Schools were closed and the FM 770 highway closed for several months. Today though, it's just part of the scenery. It's not growing and people just learn to live with it. Number 12. Pitcher Oklahoma Sinkhole. If you thought one sinkhole in a town was bad enough, then you'd be shocked at what you'd find in Pitcher, Oklahoma. There are several sinkholes, all pointing to the decades of lead mining in the area and around northeast Oklahoma. One of the most massive sinkholes was discovered south of downtown Pitcher in 2001. It started at around 8 feet in diameter, but quickly grew. 
it joins one of more than 200 sinkholes across Ottawa County. Over 50 of those are at least 95 feet in diameter and even more extensive. If you see a large pond in picture, then it likely didn't start life as one. Many sinkholes get wider and wider until they fill with water and become ponds. There have even been instances of houses being swallowed, portions of streets, and a motorist even drove past barricades and into one of the sinkholes. Given the extensive damage to the area from lead mining, officials have suggested turning the region into wetlands to combat the cave-in threats, lead contamination, and open mine shafts. The entire area has been a work in progress since the 1980s. Number 11. Guatemala City Sinkhole Many sinkholes around the world are natural phenomena you can't anticipate or prevent. But in the case of the Guatemala City sinkhole, this one was likely the cause of human actions. For officials, that's a bitter pill to swallow. In 2010, a giant sinkhole spanning 60 feet wide and 300 feet deep appeared in the city, thought to have been triggered by Tropical Storm Agatha. However, while the storm may have started the hole, it may not have been the cause of it. Guatemala City sits on hundreds of feet of pumice fill, which is a loose material that has not yet hardened to form a solid rock. As a result, swift running water can quickly erode it. Due to poor building codes and zoning regulations, Leaking pipes that have not been fixed may have created the perfect conditions for the sinkhole to occur. A natural sinkhole forms much differently and is not thought to be the case for Guatemala City. Typically, water-saturated soil collapses underground limestone cavities. Otherwise, water will widen natural cracks in the limestone bedrock. But these materials don't exist under the city or where the sinkhole formed. Number 10. Devil's Den in Williston, Florida Most sinkholes that form anywhere in the world are quite an inconvenience, but Devil's Den near Williston, Florida bucks the trend. Rather than being something you actively try to remove evidence of, this sinkhole of sorts has become a tourist attraction. It has existed for hundreds of years and was formed by a roof over an underground river collapsing and exposing the water to the open surface. The water in the river area stays at a constant 72 degrees Fahrenheit. As a result, it's quite the sight to behold in winter, when water vapor rises at the entrance to the cave and looks like the entrance to some spooky underworld. The small sinkhole used to be only accessible through a small hole, but it was made more prominent for convenience in the 1990s. It's also now privately owned and is operated as a recreational facility and scuba diving training area. The water level expands to around 200 feet and the depth of the cave is about 54 feet. There are also four underwater passages that lead to chambers that used to have animal and human remains and artifacts dating back hundreds of years. Number 9. Never Sink Pit in Alabama not every sinkhole in the world has to be devastating to the communities in which they occur. Sometimes, they are beautiful attractions that bring explorers from around the world. The Never Sink Pit, or Never Sink Cave as it is also known, is an example of that. Located in Alabama, it is one of the most photographed sinkholes in the world. It features limestone, fern-covered ledges, and beautiful waterfalls cascading down into its dark depths with crystal clear water that almost looks like it's been filtered. This sinkhole measures about 40 feet at the top and then expands to around 100 feet at the bottom. It's also 162 feet deep. Unlike other sinkholes, this is also one that experienced abseilers and cavers can climb into. That's why there's such a broad array of photos on the internet from all manner of angles. It's also kept in its beautiful current state by the Southeastern Cave Conservancy. This organization protects caves across the southeastern United States. Whether you climb into the sinkhole or just visit for a few photos, it's definitely going to impress with its unique beauty. Number 8. Ick Kill Cenote in Mexico if you're looking for something fun to do on your Mexico vacation, then a trip to the Cenote Ick Kill could be in the cards. A cenote is a natural pit or sinkhole, and this one in Yucatan, Mexico is one of the best examples of such a sinkhole. 
It forms part of the Ik Kill Archaeological Park near Chichen Itza and is open to the public for swimming. So if you're paying a visit, don't forget your camera or your swimming trunks. The beautiful sinkhole is open to the sky and has about 85 feet of water that goes below ground level. A stunning carved stairway guides you to the swimming platform where you can take a dip for nearly as long as you want. It's about 200 feet in diameter, 157 feet deep, and is positioned near the Mayan ruins, which are located on the highway heading to Vajitalid. While we're pretty impressed with the Ikkil Cenote, so too were the Mayans. They considered the site sacred and used it for human sacrifice to the rain god, Chalk. While in the area, you can also eat in the restaurant, buy something from the gift shop, rent a bicycle, or stay in the hotel. This Cenote has it all. Number 7. The Great Blue Hole in the middle of the Lighthouse Reef, a famous coral reef and part of the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System, is a perfect circle. But it's no ordinary circle. It's known as the Great Blue Hole, and it is a massive underwater sinkhole that extends over 400 feet into the Earth's crust. This sinkhole is 984 feet across, 410 feet deep, and is any scuba diver and snorkeler's sanctuary. For decades, explorers have been navigating the surface waters of the sinkhole where water levels are shallow and contrast with the aquamarine water surrounding it. Very few people have been brave enough to go any deeper where the waters are dark and probably home to all manner of scary things. However, some people did decide they were brave enough and decided to make their way into the darkness of the sinkhole. In it, they discovered reef sharks, giant corals, and turtles. But as they got around 300 feet into the hole, all signs of life disappeared. In its place was a blanket of toxic hydrogen sulfide that covered the entire width of the hole. Still, it's hard to deny that the Great Blue Hole is worth exploring, even at surface level. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the largest sinkholes of its kind. Number 6. Speedway Sinkhole In 2010, Charlotte Motor Speedway officials were in a different race from what they are typically used to. It was a race against time to fill a sinkhole that had appeared in the infield of the track just days before the Bank of America 500. This event brings up to 100,000 fans, so cancellation was definitely not an option. The Charlotte Motor Speedway facility is built on a landfill, which contributed to the cause of the 35-foot deep, 75-foot wide sinkhole. A drain pipe positioned in the landfill was over 30 years old and had collapsed after years of deterioration. The sinkhole was then triggered by heavy rain in the area. According to a spokesperson for the Speedway, they had replaced the old pipe and were in the process of backfilling the dirt and packing it down. The major event on the calendar would continue as expected, but the clock was counting down. The infield is commonly used for RV campers who set up their motorhomes and RVs for a weekend of action. While some people would certainly notice a difference, there would be minimal disturbance. Number 5. Potassium Mining Sinkholes in Berezniki, Russia As was common during Soviet times, the city of Berezniki, home to 150,000 people, was built on top of a potash mine in Russia's Ural Mountains. For nearly 100 years, the area had been used to extract potassium and deep caverns and voids were left under the city. When a freshwater spring started flowing through the mines around 720 to 1500 feet under the surface in 2006, it began to dissolve the pillars that held up the ceilings of these massive caverns. As a result, the city started to collapse, almost like a giant sinkhole. Many parts of the city were affected, and giant sinkholes started appearing all over the city. One of the largest ones was over 1,300 feet across and 656 feet deep, and threatened to take out the only railway leading to the mines, which are the city's biggest employer. Ever since, and as the problem got worse, officials have started wondering whether the city may need to be relocated. On the opposite bank of the Kama River, the bedrock is much more solid. However, engineers believe no more sinkholes will be formed. Still, around 12,000 people have already left, just in case the problem got any worse. Number 4. Cerro Serenyama Sinkholes in Venezuela 
1961, pilot Harry Gibson discovered something quite exciting in Cerro Cerro Serenyama, a table-topped mountain within the Yawa Cerro Serenyama National Park. Sinkholes. And quite a few of them. A discovery team was put together in 1974 to explore the sinkholes. Then, another, more prepared team arrived two years later. Craggy plateaus faceted with sheer cliffs, some soaring over 2,000 meters. There are four sizable sinkholes in total. The largest, Sima Humboldt, is 1,154 feet wide and 1,030 feet deep. Below that one is Sima Martel, which is 813 feet deep and just 2,259 feet from the Sima Humboldt. During the second exploration trip, a third sinkhole was discovered, a quartzite cave called Sima de la Lluvia. For several years, it was the longest known cave of its kind in the world, at 0.83 miles. While these sinkholes are only accessible by helicopter, they are an impressive sight in the air. They are near the border of Brazil in one of the most remote parts of the country. The closest road is hundreds of miles away, and the entire mountain is heavily wooded, with 50 to 80 feet high trees covering the whole top of it. Number 3. Dean's Blue Hole in Long Island, in a bay near Clarence Town, is one of the deepest known blue holes in the world, Dean's Blue Hole. The term blue hole is given to any sinkhole filled with water and with the entrance to it underwater. Dean's Blue Hole is exceptional in many ways. While most blue holes are no deeper than 360 feet, this one descends to around 663 feet. It's also roughly circular, with the diameter ranging from 82 feet to 115 feet. Once you get to around 66 feet below the surface of the hole, it widens into a cavern. You've then got around 330 feet of area to explore. And when the weather is clear, you can see for at least 100 15 feet into the hole. Many people visit Dean's Blue Hole just to capture a glimpse and maybe a photo or two, but some people do a little more than just visit. For example, in 2010, a professional diver, William Trubridge, did a free dive and reached depths of 302 feet while using fins. By doing so, he broke the free diving world record. Then, just another four years later, he broke his own record by diving down to 331 feet on one breath and using his hands and feet to propel him. Number 2. Dragon Hole Dean's Blue Hole used to be known as the deepest underwater sinkhole in the world. But in 2016, Dragon Hole in the South China Sea may have snatched that record. Scientists spent around a year exploring the site, which locals had always called the Eye of the South China Sea. Sancha Ship Course Research Institute for Coral Protection scientists were able to determine the size of the sinkhole with the help of an underwater robot with a depth sensor. It measured it at 987 feet deep, which is far deeper than Dean's Blue Hole, which is only 663 feet. In the upper part of the sinkhole, researchers found all manner of fish species. However, once you get down to around 328 feet, it's mostly free of oxygen, so nothing is likely to survive down there. Upon discovery of this massive sinkhole, the Sancha city government in China's Hainan province was drafting measures to both study and protect it. Some of the studies will involve looking at microbial processes and the reasoning for the formation of the blue hole in the first place. Number 1. Katara Depression Out of all sinkholes in the world, the Katara sinkhole west of Cairo in Egypt is not only one of the largest, but one with a lot of potential as well. It's located in the Libyan Desert Basin and spans 7,000 square miles while descending 435 feet below sea level. It's home to salt lakes and marshes and played an integral part in World War II. Military traffic couldn't pass it, so it was an anchor at the British defense lines to prevent the final advance of the German army in 1942. In the 1970s, oil deposits were found in the southern part of it, and it has also been viewed for its potential for energy harnessing. 
there's definitely a lot going for this sludge-filled quicksand pit. In recent years, energy harnessing has been quite a sound option for the giant hole. Scientists tried to develop a $360 million project that would involve digging a ditch from the edges of Katara to the Mediterranean and allowing it to fill with water. Within around 160 years, it would become a lake around the same size as Lake Erie. Isn't nature astonishing? One minute we're going about our own business, and the next, our cars are swallowed into a hole hundreds of feet deep. Has there ever been a sinkhole in your town or nearby? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!